Hi, I'm Dom, the F1 uh, UK rep. Just out here in Mauritius testing the 2011 lineup. Uh, taking a break from, uh, from water time, the wind's died off a bit and the waves have backed off. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick insight as to what we're expecting for next year's uh, F1 lineup. Um, we have here the new Bandit 4. Um, some of the key uh, aspects remain the same from, uh, from the Bandit 3, which is a good thing. I was a bit worried that they'd change uh, what was an excellent kite a little bit too much, um, but the last few days have, have proven differently and the, and the kite is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've still got the force frame, which was uh, one of the main aspects of the structure of the, of the three. Um, you can see the fusion struts are still in place, we've got a really solid kite. Same high quality build um, that we're, we're used to with F1. Uh, nice short bridles, which are also unchanged from the three of last year. Um, there are a few key things which you'll probably be able to see straight away. Um, you've got to the five struts, we've only got three now. Um, the idea um, behind that is to really make a bit of a lighter kite and a kite with a bit more flex in it. Um, so certainly for some of the key aspects which, which people use in the Bandit for the waves, uh, the freestyle and, and obviously the speed, um, it gives the, the kite a bit more life. That's the idea behind it and as I say after a few days testing it seems to be working pretty well. Um, if you can come around and see the wing tips probably get a better view here as well because the, the wingtips are a, a lot more squared off than in, in years gone by um, and you've got a much more conventional kind of C shape although the kite remains a delta. So here we've got the square wingtips um, which is new for this year. Uh, another new feature um, that we've got is these two adjustment points for the rear lines. Um, it really gives you a bit more control and a bit more options about what you want to do with the kite. If you want to speed it up you obviously use the rear settings, slow the kite down perhaps for a bit more freestyle and wake, uh, wake style. Uh, you move them inboard a bit just to, just to slow the kite down. Um, you have um, obviously two less battens, so they've put a short batten in the, in the trailing edge of the kite um, to, just to give it a bit of a hand uh, and a bit more rigidity, but obviously remaining that, uh, keeping that light weight um, that we're looking for. So we'll have a look at the inside of the kite now. Um, as you can see, it's the same bridle from last year, which works super well. Um, it's the same length as it was before on the Bandit 3, which means that you can run this kite with your standard bar as long as all the four lines are the same. So this will work fine on any regular bar, and obviously the bar from last year is no problem at all. Um, a couple of nice features that the, the guys at F1 have been listening to us um, over the past year or so, you know, reference warranties and um, you know, blowouts and that sort of thing, which are inevitable. Um, you can see a really nice new system here with the inflation. Uh, rather than a cable tie, which isn't the most reliable kind of thing, and it, you always get jagged edges which could possibly rub on the cloth, they've got a, like a new plastic washer, um, which just pops off and pops on again. So when you need to change the strut bladders, when you need to change, uh, change the leading edge, bla edge bladder, it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, and you, you get rid of that kind of catching and snagging possibility that we had before. Um, with the cable ties. So that's another good feature. Uh, so it's important to reiterate that although um, you've got a much more kind of regular C-shaped kite, uh, you still get all the benefits of the Delta. So you've got the, uh, the easy relaunch, the huge range that they all have, um, and just the general stable overall Delta feel that we've, we've all sort of come to love over the past couple of years. Okay, so just to reiterate that the main points, um, you're down to three struts as opposed to five. Uh, and the idea behind this is to give it a bit more flexibility and a bit more life in your hands. You've got a much more C-shaped canopy, which is going to give you that extra lift, that extra grunt and that kind of C-shaped feel. And then the third main new point uh, is the really square wingtips, which are going to really increase the tuning speed and the turning speed of the kite. So you can tailor it to whatever discipline or whatever wind strength you're in. That's probably uh, enough of me talking about it. Um, what we'll do is try and grab some of the F1 team, the designer, the owner of the company, and some of the pro riders and get their take on, on, on what they think of, the, of this year's kites. So we're here in Mauritius, managed to grab hold um, of Raf, the main man at F1. I just got to ask him a couple of questions on, on the, the uh, development of the brand and how the kites change uh, from year to year. We had um, a look already at uh, some of the main features, but Raf, I wanted to ask you, um, just how complicated and how much effort goes into changing the kites every year. Um, I know yeah. you spend a lot of time on the water. It's we are on the bandit since uh, four years. That's the number four. So every year we improve mm -hmm. one, two, and bandit three. And every year it's more and more difficult because the base is already quite uh, good. Yeah, enough. yeah, sure. So uh -huh. The first year it took us 12 prototypes, second year 20, then 50. At 50. that time, is 80, <laughs> 80 prototype to achieve the bandit form. 
So okay, so you just change small, well, small bits and uh, different we, bridle points. We try to ch keep the maximum things, but that that year we changed the outline of the tips. Yeah, we sure. take away two struts, mm -hmm. change the profile, change the leading edge, change the C shape. Quite a lot of changes. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of changes. And yeah, you that you don't really maybe see, but it's a lot. And you spend lots and lots of time on the water to test each prototype? 80 proto, might be one or two days each. Okay. So it's 160 days on the water. That's quite a lot you know, time. it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> Only for the bandit. And, so, and there's how many people in the test team? How many people do you, do you test with? Oh, we are doing the test only myself and Mika. Okay, so just two Full of you? Time, yeah. Okay, so yeah. there's a lot of man hours that go into each, each kite. Yeah. And <clears throat> how do you do it? Do you start with maybe one kite size and get that one right? and go bigger and then smaller? Yeah, we always start by the 9. The 9? We okay. go up to 60 proto for the 9 and then okay. we start wow. with the rest. So you get the 9 correct and then you... Yeah. yeah. But we, I, just before it's really finished, we start the other size. Okay, okay. It's one done. thing I've noticed with um, last year's Bandit, the Bandit 3, is that the, the really small ones, like the 6 meter, um, doesn't behave like a normal 6 meter. It, it, it's designed to work in strong wind it, yeah. it's not just a smaller version of the nine no there's for different, sure. different yeah. feelings yeah yeah um, this year we work a lot on the big size mm -hmm. so they get more power okay like when we test in the 12 we test it again the 13 from bandit 3 okay so we improve the low end sure because the big size they cost more and more every year mm -hmm. they are more and more expensive yeah yeah so if they give you a lot of power, it's better okay. for your money. <laughs> okay, so the, the bigger kites have like the maybe the 11, the 12, and, 14. and the 14 have a bit more low end. Yeah, we play with the the curve of the C shape. Okay. We put a little bit less on the big sizes and more and more to the smaller ones. Okay. But we also have a different profile. Yeah. So they're completely different, different kites. So they're not completely. The bases would, but, but they're designed to we work adapt like a this. lot. Yeah. Okay. And oh, since we are only working on the bandit since uh, four years, mm -hmm. we know a lot more about fourteen or five or six square meters. Yeah. We have more and more experience, mm -hmm. and we are really concentrated on one range sure. only, mainly. So me too, maybe you can give us a bit of a, uh, an insight about what you like about the Bandit 4. Um, yeah, normally I try uh, yeah. like two weeks on the Mauritius and I try a little bit the Bandit 4. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like because uh, I have a, like different feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the, the, the kite is so stable, you know, in the air. And I try like Manawa, the wind is a little bit uh, mm -hmm. side. Then I go to uh, one eye, the wind is a little bit off, you know. Yep. And it's perfect because like on Manawa, you know, I make the big bottom turn and make the slash and th then the wave push you on the kite and mm -hmm. you feel like the kite go down, you know? Yeah. But then you get, kind of have lots of steady, you know, make like that and you take the wind again, you okay. know, and you continue to surf. So know? it follows you down the line, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good. It's, uh, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, also, uh, you know, like when I check the kite, I feel like uh, mm -hmm. I have a little bit of uh, power, you know, so on the waves it's going to be a little bit deeper. But, when you try, you know, it's uh, so soft in the body, you mm -hmm. know. Like also to go on uh, on the way, it's perfect, you know. And, uh, and one eye also there, the wind is a little bit like uh, side off. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I try in one eye, and uh, it's so nice, you know, because it's, uh, it's comfortable. Yeah, so it just works really well. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Like also like, uh, I think it's, with this one I can try like the new maneuver, you know, because like, I try like to do it a lot a little bit more surfing, you know, mm -hmm. like in, one eye, like to let go of the bar, to take grip on the board, not on one hand on the water, you know, okay. to make like more good the better turn. Yeah. And uh, the kite just stay there, you know. It behaves itself. Yes, and you can do it whatever you want. You know? Okay. I think it's going to be uh, so nice. Be a good kite. So you need uh, just a few more sessions to get really into it. Yeah. And yeah. you think it will help you riding? And yeah, for sure. But but normally, you know, like also I do it with freestyle uh, strapless. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I like, you know, it it's works so very good. Like. When I compare it to Bandit 3, you know, it's, uh, I prefer like this one. You know, so you're ready to go? Yes, like also on the freestyle strapless, you have good lift, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, to the kite do it also, you know, the kite push different, you have different push because it push you a little bit, then when you're landing, it's, it's more soft when you land. Okay. 
so it's uh, it's nice. So it gives you a bit of a softer yeah, yeah, when you come back yeah, into land. Because yeah, yeah. okay. when you turn, you know, turn more quick, you know. Yeah. So it's uh, nice. It's going to be a good year. Yeah, for sure. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. That's cool. Welcome.